What is up you guys, Max back here with another video. Behind me is my 2005 C6 Corvette and in this video I'm gonna be giving five reasons as to why I think you should purchase a C6 Corvette and these are the same reasons why I love my C6 Corvette and why I purchased mine. So let's get right into the video. All right, so reason number one, I have to talk about speed and I have to talk about performance and I have to talk about the appearance of the car. So this car, you guys can be the judge. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I know it is all personal preference, but I think the car looks good. I think it's got that classic look, but also has sort of a modern look as well. I love that. And in my opinion, I think the car looks stunning. You could be the judge, but I wanna talk about the performance because the performance is not opinion. For this car being a 2005, it is a performance bargain. You can buy this car, a base model from the earlier years of the C6 generation for twenty to twenty five thousand dollars that's not too bad and you're getting 400 horsepower up until 430 horsepower if you get the ls3 this is a 2005 up until 2007 they had the ls2 but still 400 horsepower 400 pound feet of torque a zero to 60 in about four seconds very very good performing car feels very quick it's a very light car so you will never feel like in any situation that you're unsafe or you can't pass a truck on the highway or something like that this car will definitely get you from a to b comfortably and quickly. So that's reason number one. Reason number two to buy a C6 Corvette is the aftermarket support for the engine, for performance, for the interior, for the exterior, whatever you want for this car, you can get, they have it. If you want rear taillights, you want new headlights, you want carbon fiber interior pieces, a carbon fiber steering wheel, wings, wide body kits, they have it for this car. So you can really customize the car to your liking. For me personally, I have uh, an exhaust on this car. I tinted the windows. I've got a new radio. Uh, I've got uh, new uh, Morimoto uh, taillights. And I'm just barely beginning customizing this car to my liking and trying to make it so no other C6 on the road looks exactly like mine. So when I bring it to car shows, I can be very proud and feel like I have something that nobody else has. So that goes for everything, like I said. If you want a cold air intake, exhaust, like I mentioned, headers, a supercharger, anything, they have it for this car. So that's one thing to keep in mind uh, with a muscle car like this or a sports car like this, they have everything for you, especially being that the car's a little bit older now, everything's already come out. They're pretty much done making parts for this car or aftermarket parts. So just keep that in mind. Reason number three to buy this car, it's the gas mileage. For a car that has a big old V8 in it, you would think maybe the gas mileage wouldn't be all that great. I think it's pretty good for what it is. It's got 18 miles per gallon on the city, 28 miles per gallon on the highway. That's pretty good. It's no Honda CRV, it's no Corolla, but this car is not that bad with the gas mileage. You're not going to find yourself filling it up all too often, or at least as much as you might expect. Now, I put premium in this car, which makes it uh, a little more expensive to fill up, but 18 miles on the city, which is where I'm mostly driving this car, is not too shabby. Reason number four to buy this car is the practicality for what it is. So this kind of goes along with reason number three with the gas mileage, which is very good for what it is. You also have a lot of trunk space, which makes it so it can be a grocery getter. It can be a daily driver. It sort of feels like when you're in this car, especially because you have access to the trunk very easily, which I'll show you what that looks like. It feels like uh, you could pretty much put anything back there and it feels like half the car is pretty much just trunk space. So this is something that you can daily drive and feel good about. The only, I guess, downside you can say is that it is a two seater. So it's not like you can haul your friends and family in this car, more than one at least, but you kind of know what you're getting into. It's a little coupe sports car with two seats and you kind of know that going in, but it has a lot of trunk space for uh, the type of car that it is, probably more than a Mustang or a Camaro or other types of cars in this space. The final reason I think you should buy a C6 Corvette is the fact that it's fun. It kind of ties everything all together, but specifically, I want to talk about the fact that you could take the roof off of this car. It's got the T-top and you can put it in the trunk and it kind of makes this car a convertible, but you still have that hard top look. My first car I ever owned myself, I shared it with my brother. It was a 2007 Ford Mustang, a V6, and I loved that car. It was a convertible and it was a whole lot of fun, but the downside of that car is it really did not have a whole lot of aggression to it, in my own opinion, because it had that soft top to it. This car gives you that hard top look, but you could take the roof off, so for a nice day or night, you still have a lot of fun, you feel like you're in a convertible, but then you still have access to put it right back on when you want that uh, aggressive look or you don't want as much sound coming into the car or whatever it is. So 
that's five reasons I think you should buy a C6 Corvette. There's plenty of more reasons I may touch on in other videos, but if you do own this car, or you're thinking about buying this car, definitely leave a comment down below. Tell me why you like your car or why you're thinking about buying this car. And definitely like and subscribe to follow the build, and I'll see you guys on the next one.